welcome to e school of civil engineering as i have started a tutorial about that that how can we analysis earthquake load by using excel sheet and also by using our tabs so uh, i have shown you in my previous video about that excel file and using that excel file we have found that value now we'll check for that in etabs now that is it okay or not with our etabs and uh, we have also have told you that when we'll change that value in yellow box then we'll find out that value for our required story and uh, from here we'll also found the required value for three code ASCE 705 ASCE 710 and BNBC 2017 and it's also user coefficient option by using user coefficient option and in my previous video I've shown you that we have done our analysis by using user coefficient option so today I'll show you that how we'll check that is it okay with our that file or not so let's start so first of all I'll open my previous data So uh, this is our previous model and I think you all know about that model and if you don't know you should watch the previous video I have shown you uh, uh, and it will be clear to you so that we can go forward and now as we have completed that in our previous video so I will not discuss about that now I will go for that data. And there are many ways to find out the force, S3 force. But I will do for an easy method. First of all, I'll go file and I'll go here, create report, and from here, I'll create report. So, here, show project report. So, from project report, I'll find my value. It's working and uh, you can also watch total YouTube tutorial series and also it has problem and solution series and also that earthquake load analysis series. All links are given in description. So I'll go down. I'll go down for finding our earthquake load. Here, <coughs> have to zoom that, zoom it, and here is our earthquake load, and we have provided that value. We have uh, input that value from our Excel file here. In the value of C here, and value of K. Value of C and value of K load pattern for BNBC 2017. I have defined it that name, and here is our data. If I go here, you can see that the top is still values 21.69 keeps, and from our Excel file. If you compare with that, it's 21.69. How exactly is matching with our Excel? And uh, I have uh, only done that for again go for suppose uh, F9. F9 is 10.2 keep. 
so here f9 10.2 keep so it's exactly equal to our data and uh, who work with bnbc i mean who work with bnbc design code and uh, i think it will be helpful for them and i will freely give you that excel file for your work purpose and uh, this is only for bnbc 2017 and uh, also you can use that file i have designed that file like that way so that you can use that file for your asce analysis asce 2000 sorry asce 705 and for asce 710 and also i will check that for it in my next video so in that video it's okay that it's exactly equal to our ETAS value and for our excel value and uh, just uh, forget about that you have to change that that value from yellow box and you will find that two value and by using the two value you are enable to analyze it in ETAPS and If you think that this is helpful for you just press the like button so that I can understand it is helpful for you and uh, if you need that excel file especially for my Bangladeshi and uh, for co-learner who follow the BNBC code in BNBC 2070 final code so I want to share with them my that excel file so that they can complete their work easily and also you have to check several time and you have to uh, confirm that this excel file is okay with your work before doing any professional work i do not suggest any professional work by using that without proving that it's okay with you i mean First of all, you have to do a manual calculation by yourself and you have to check that with you. So is it okay with you? Then okay. After all, I am a human and it's very easy to make any mistake. And uh, I think I have done it very carefully. And after all, you have to check that because I am not responsible for any kinds of mistake. And so, I think uh, my dear co-learner from BNBC code you can use the two only two value for BNBC 2017 in ETAPS using user coefficient method so I have already discussed that in my previous video so thank you thank you very much as well stay connected till next video and my next video I will show you about ASCE 705 analysis and also I'll show you ASC 710 analysis and after that if you have any further question or any further query about this, that file or about it you can mail me the mail are given in description and also you can comment me below and don't forget to press the like button not to subscribe button okay press the like button so that I can understand that you are helpful with my video so thank you thank you very much